Today we're going to look at how to add curtain tape to fabric in order to make some curtain linings and then adding hooks to those. You can add extra linings to whatever curtains you've got. Keeps the cold out on this side because it's all trapped between the curtain and the window and on this side it's keeping you nice and toasty. To make your thermal curtain linings you'll need some scissors, pins, curtain hooks, curtain tape, wonder web or hemming tape a good steam iron and a pressing cloth. Tests have shown that using a thermal lining rather than an ordinary lining can save up, can maximize your efficiency by about 25%. We need to take some measurements. So we measure from the top of the curtain track to just under the window sill and add about that much extra for turnings and double that, double that figure. So that's how much fabric you need to buy in total. We're going to fold our fabric in half and cut it in order to make our two linings. And we need to make sure it's all lined up on the edges and we lay it on our table. An initial cut, grip the edges of the fabric, insert the scissors and just run the blade all the way along that fold. But at the top, we want to put a small hem on uh, which is going to also take our curtain tape. And the fold back needs to be twice the width of your existing curtain tape, because that way it makes folding it back a lot simpler than trying to measure how much fold you've got all the way along. We're going to use some pins, and I'm going to fold this edge down to my pencil marks and put the pin in. The pin holds it in place, which will make pressing this line a lot easier. This way, as you can see, all I'm doing is pressing on this side of the pins. This is the curtain tape we want to use on the top of this curtain. I'm going to allow myself a little bit of a fold back, see if, say three fingers worth, at this end. Here. Curtain tape, it has cords running through it. When you pull the cord, it will actually stop it from popping out. Take our hemming tape, we're going to put it inside our fold, tucked right in like that, and then over the top, this side, this layer will hold the curtain tape in place, the layer underneath will hold the fold in place. So, and again at this end of hemming tape, and put it in this last section of the curtain tape. Fold it over and we're going to make it line up with the edge of our curtain lining like that. Okay, keep it in place with a couple of pins and we're ready to press our little sandwich of curtain tape and bondo web. Take your time, really, the longer you take on this, the longer they'll stay up. So these are our curtain hooks and we're going to take them and add them now to our curtain tape. We're going to put one at each end and then space them apart, probably the equivalent of your, your hand. So that'll do nicely. To pull out the cord from between these two loops like this, I'm using a hook because it gives me a bit of leverage and then we're going to start pulling the cords and you can just feel it go click, 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 click as it releases. If you think you can handle needle and thread, then I would recommend that you put a stitch in at the end, just a simple stitch. It um, helps anchor everything, and just in case your pressing wasn't enough, it'll keep everything nice and clean. So like that. Now our, curtain, our linings are ready to get attached to our curtain. So, here's the curtain. We start at one end, and put your hook in the loop. And we're using the lower run of loop, just work our way along. Before you know it, this will be at the window, keeping those nasty drafts out. Whatever you add to the back of your curtains will definitely save you money in the long run and keep you nice and snug in the winter. I think that's probably job well done. 
thermal linings will help you retain heat and allow you to turn your thermostat down, possibly even by one degree. And that will reduce your carbon emissions, make your house a lot greener, and save you probably about 10% on your annual heating bills. For more information on how to save energy, call Islington Green Living Advice Centre on 0800 953 1221.